You know, heavy is probably the closest thing I have to a main. I mean, sure, I play soldier a lot, but that's mostly just because I like to hit people with this shovel. Like, a lot. Um... Okay, anyway, back on topic. This episode was kind of tricky because there's this running joke that heavy mains don't exist, and so that means there aren't any stereotypes for them. But I'm here today to set the record straight, because heavy mains exist, man. There are dozens of us. Dozens! Alright, same deal as always. Stereotypes do not necessarily mean everybody, so... Yeah, like, wh why do I even have to say this at this point? It's, okay, are you guys ready? Yeah, okay, let's go. Oh, this is an easy one. This guy will give you a sandwich no matter what team you're on. See, okay, a lot of people take pride in killing friendlies because, Hey, you, you, I'm just playing a game, yeah, you, right? Yeah, we've all heard that before. See, that's the thing. These guys aren't actually stopping you from achieving the goal of the game, which is capping the objective. So if you're really tryharding and you really want to win, that's fine, but you should probably leave these guys alive because you never know when you're going to need a sandwich. The next president of the United States. Holy shit, it actually happened. Yeah, see, I'm gonna level with you guys for a second. Just, America. I'm so disappointed in you. Like, how could you not vote for the clearly superior candidate, Vermin Supreme? I mean, what's gonna happen when the zombies come and you didn't vote for the only candidate with a zombie preparedness plan? What happens when Plaque destroys this nation's gum line and you didn't vote for the only candidate with a mandatory toothbrushing policy? I mean, come on, guys. Use your brains. That sucks. Yeah, well, that's just like your opinion, man. This guy is a super ultra mega tryhard. And I don't usually mean something negative when I say tryhard, but this guy is the kind of tryhard who will yell at his team whenever something goes wrong, and it's never his fault. If I'm being honest, most of these guys are dicks. Unless it's painted Australian gold, and then you're Johnny Bravo. Classic War Pig. Man, if I had a nickel for every time I've seen a one-man army heavy jump around the corner into the whole enemy team and get destroyed, I'd probably be able to go and buy another Australium or something. See, I like to call these guys the Putis Police. They probably also wear the Macho Man, and I don't blame them. It's really one of the most versatile misks in the entire game. Overall, these guys are pretty chill, but you probably shouldn't piss them off. They're the type of person to hunt you down and focus you for the entire game if you get a cheeky kill on them or something. This is the good tryhard hat, as in the help the team and get shit done type of tryhard. You're always going to be happy to have one of these guys on your team. Yeah, this is the low tier unusual hat for heavy. In fact, I think the Bubbling Dreadnought is the cheapest unusual in the entire game, so... <laughs> it's so bad. Medic! This guy always seems to have a pocket medic. And if he doesn't, he's bitching at the team's medic for healing other people other than the massively important person that is himself. In fact, I'm pretty sure most of them have a script that automatically calls for medic every five seconds, even if they're already at full health and overhealed. This guy always uses the Tomislav. And that's really it. There's no joke here. It's just really widespread, so I wanted to at least mention it. And here, we observe the wild putis bird in its natural habitat. These fascinating creatures tend to be found only in silly servers. <laughs> I, I can't do Morgan Freeman, man. It's not, it's not gonna work. Okay, seriously though, these guys are total bros. You don't really see them too often in serious games, 
but when you do, you can always rely on getting a sandwich from them. It's super nice. This guy's a veteran TF2 player, that's for sure. Now, they're not all good, and they're not all bad or anything like that, but you can expect that they've been playing the game for at least a while. Alright, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode, and just a quick reminder, if I missed your favorite hat, all hope is not lost. I still have the honorable mentions video as the last episode of this series, so please let me know if you'd like me to do a certain heavy hat for that. Also, NG is next, so make sure to tell me what you'd like to see for him. I do my best to read all the comments, so do not hesitate to ask for your favorite piece of headwear on the Texas Builder Man. Uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.